Um, so it's Jack Dewey's music show, episode three. Uh, it's a bit different this this week. We've got a TikTok influencer in Turkish Tam on. Uh, still media based, but yeah. we'll get started, mate. So, uh, how are you doing? I'm all right, mate. Yeah, just had an early morning, went for a jog, came back, having a peppermint tea now. So, um, yeah, my first podcast as well. So, excited for it. Yeah, like we were just saying before, you've, you've not really done podcasts or interviews. Why yeah. do you think that is? Why? I don't know, mate. I just usually, right, my, my request is usually spanned with um, like kids and stuff like that, and it's hard for me to get through it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I've, I've messaged you before, so yours just came through straight away. So, I just thought, yeah, you know what, I'll take it. Yeah, it's right, yeah. a bit of boost for yourself. But yeah, exactly. we'll, we'll, we'll sort of just talk about you on TikTok. So sort of what, what started it all for you? How come you wanted to start making videos? Right, so, yeah, so um, I remember I started last lockdown, the first lockdown, sorry, last March. And um, my friends kept on sending me videos from TikTok. I didn't have the app at the time, but it just kept sending me videos of like... Um, just you know them trends that go around where the girls just like do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. and then um, I was like oh mate what's going on and blah blah, blah. and he made a 20 pound bet with me saying I couldn't get one video viral um because now you just have to be a girl and just you know show some you know and um yeah and then I ended up going viral from that video and ever since then I just didn't stop yeah um, and obviously yeah. You, your name's Turkish Tam so uh, where does that resonate from Right, so yeah, so many people have told me to change it, whatnot, because um, instantly when you when some people see Turkish, they'll instantly just not like me. I get that a lot as well, and um, it, it came from originally it was Boss Man Tam, yeah, and um, I just thought I changed it to Turkish Tam because I don't know the TT is just it sounds good and um, yeah, and I just stuck with it ever since. And so many people, including people that. Um, I have friends that have got millions of followers and they're like, Tamo, you have to change it. Like, it's just not a name that you can have and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, mate, I'm just, I'm still having fun with this TikTok stuff. I wouldn't, I don't see it as something serious at the minute. Yeah, but, yeah. You, said, you said about obviously having fun. You, yeah. Does that mean you record, you enjoy recording the videos? It's not like a job or... Yeah, no, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's all fun. Like, I actually enjoy it. Um People always ask me, like, do you get bored of doing the accent and stuff like that? But no, nah, I find it all fun, mate. It's funny, but I sometimes watch my videos back and still laugh at it. So, yeah, I enjoy doing it. Your videos mainly involve Boss Man. So where, where does he come from? Right. So, OK, um, one of my first skits was Parents' Evening. And my mum used to come to the Parents' Evening and she, she, she could barely speak English, mate. So um all she used to do was just give me like and I, I was such a I was such a prick at school so I was always messing around so parents evening was awful for me and so I did a skit involving my mum and um I think my dad said like oh it's embarrassing you dressing up as a girl blah 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 and uh, my mum gave me the idea of why don't you just dress up as your dad and yeah that's where it came from my mum gave me the idea and ever since then everyone just loves boss man so I just stuck with that <laughs> What is it about TikTok and making videos that, that you actually enjoy most? Um, I think it's the feedback of like people just laughing. Um, you know, I get messages from people saying, oh, you really made my day and stuff like that. And I think that just um, makes it all worth it, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Um, and you've obviously uh, launched a merch brand. Yeah. Um, I've got one of the tops at university. I would have worn it yeah. today if, if it wasn't. <laughs> What was the response to, to that like? Um, yeah, I think the merch was, I remember when I hit 50K, so many people were saying, are you ever going to release merch, merch, merch? And I never thought of it. And um, uh, yeah, I think around 100K, I just thought, let me just buy like 30, 40 t-shirts and just put Boss Man on it. And it sold out within like a week. So um, I just stuck with it. And obviously at the time, the first lockdown, I just finished uni it was hard for me to find a job with all the coronavirus and stuff. So it was a nice bit of extra money as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, you do the boss man voice quite a lot. Does it ever like slip out sometimes? Like, is it a habit? No, you, you just uh, nah, it, you nah, never. <laughs> Even sometimes, yeah, I'll meet people. They're like, can you do the boss man voice? I'll, I'll, I'll be on dates. So I'll be like, can you please do the boss man voice? I'm just like, no, nah, I find it. I find it cringy when I do it outside of TikTok. Okay, okay. But yeah. yeah. What, what's the funniest video that you actually think you've done 
Uh, for me, it's, the one I just laugh at is the one where you went to the park with the ducks, and it's just when you pick oh, up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I just, I, yeah, I just, that just. <laughs> I got a lot of weird looks when I did that. Yeah. Um, the the funniest video I've done. Um, I don't know. I think, in my opinion, um, well, probably the tube one. Probably okay. the tube one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There, there was an extra part to that tube one which I couldn't put on because the guy was angry. He was like, "I don't want you recording me," so I had to cut that bit out. But that was like proper funny, and um, yeah, that was probably my one I laughed at most. Do you ever get like like you just said funny looks and stuff? Do you, do you, what, no, what do you do in them sort of situations when you? Well, if I'm as dressed as boss one outside, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've only done that two or three times, um, and in in that situation, if people give me funny looks, oh, well, to be honest, I kind of like it. It's what makes content, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Now that's what people like to see people reacting. So, yeah, just feed off it, I guess. You use the word accuse quite a lot. Um, for people, uh, I presume people do know, but just yeah, what is an accuse? So uh, the actual meaning is is an ox, which yeah. is like a bull, I think. And um, the, in Turkish, it's like a slang word for calling someone like stupid. Okay. It's not really that offensive, but it's, it's just calling someone stupid. And uh, yeah, that, that's the meaning. So am I right in saying that you originated from Turkey? Is that where? Is yeah, that yeah. Born or- yeah. Yeah, no, well, I was born in Grimsby, um, up north, um, but both my parents are from Turkey. Okay. So, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll just move on from the TikTok side of things now. You've obviously just said you finished university. Um, I, I know you studied where you studied, but for people who don't, where, where was that? Yeah, I, I studied at Nottingham Trent, um, studied business, and I did master's in finance, and I finished that last summer. Nice, nice. Uh, and obviously you're into your boxing as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Is that something you you do competitively or is it just to sort of keep yourself fit? Um, yeah, I've done it competitively, but um, no, nah, not at the minute, mate. I've, I've gained a lot of weight. I've lost my six pack, but um, uh, as, as soon as COVID is over, I, I plan to box again. But I don't know. We'll see. Because I've started a new job as well. I've barely got any time. But yeah, I'd love to get back into it again. Yeah. Now, yeah, well, I've seen you do it as well. I've seen it on your profile. Mate, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, I love it. I love the sport. It's good sport. So who was your favourite boxer at the minute? Um, at the minute, Tyson Fury. Okay. And yeah. You think he beats Joshua? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyone who thinks that would, anyone that thinks Joshua will beat Fury, they don't know boxing. <laughs> do, do you take uh, this? Do you take much notice into sort of Jake Paul when he fight when he's going to fight Ben Askin? Is that something you'll watch or? Uh, you know what? It is something I'll watch, but it's not something I take big notice into. But when he's fighting, I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, yeah. I, and I think I think go on, sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, as much as the hate Jake Paul gets, I, I think he's a good boxer, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I think people underestimate him. I, I am a massive Jake Paul fanboy, so I, you know, I, I really, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, I just something about him that I just like. I just I just think it's his arrogance and just just how he is. Yeah, yeah, he's he's got a confidence for him. Yeah, I I think I think people are sort of underestimating Askren in terms of. I I don't know if Jake Paul knock him out in the two rounds, but you look at Askren, he's not. Everyone thinks he gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Jake Paul will definitely win, but I think it will probably be like late rounds. I don't think it'll be as quick as the last one. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I'll stop it there.